Robinson from Progress Wrestling. You are being a part of history at the moment, ladies and gentlemen. You are witnessing the first ever, ever Progress Wrestling Championship defense on Irish soil, and here he comes. Paul Robinson. Not a fan favorite, but I don't think, I don't think he really cares. And the crowd is up on their feet because they know when that music hits, who is coming to the ring, the salvation of pro wrestling. You hear the cheers from this crowd. They cannot wait to see the pastor William Eber in action. And by the looks of things, Paul Robinson can't wait to get his hands on William Eber. There he is, the Progress Wrestling World Champion, the pastor William Eber. Two men staring each other down in the ring, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a match for the Progress Championship title. First time defended on Irish soil. First, on my left, he is the challenger. He is known as the man that ended Jimmy Havoc's progress career. He weighs in at a weight of 170 pounds. He is from Southern Essex. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. He is having a nightmare of a time out there. Essex. Paul Robinson flailing around the ring here, letting everybody know just what a tough nut he is, and he's going straight for William Eber. William Eber, calm as always, calm, cool, and collected. And to my right, and to my right, what an absolute coup we've got here, Kieran. Sheeran, sorry, so he's like, we've got the Progress Heavyweight Championship he on the line here at a CCW show. He hails from Trinity Parish in Hackney in London. He is the Pastor William. Pastor William Eber. Again, the Pastor William Eber, no stranger to the CCW Ryan Brand. Uh, Paul Robinson getting straight up, getting stuck in straight away, but yeah, Pastor William Eber just newly won the Progress Heavyweight Championship last month at Progress 32 against Marty Skrull. He, uh, of course, everyone knows, he cashed in his national progression title there to get the title shot against Marty Scarlett and picked up the victory last month in London. And we have this match is underway now. Paul Robinson, everyone knows his face from Progress Wrestling. He tagged in Progression Wrestling with Regression with Jimmy Havoc and Isaac Zersher as well. What a faction they were, but again, yeah, Pastor William Ever, a veteran in the ring and a veteran to CCW. And of course, uh, Paul Robinson known as the man who ended Jimmy Havoc's career. Now bear in mind. Exactly, after the end of regression, he turned on Jimmy Havoc and 
ended his career. And bear in mind, Jimmy Havoc is actually one of the people who trained, helped to help, helped Pastor William Eber get to where he is today. Again, it's the old sensei versus the student type situation. Often that will happen. The student will step up and close down the sensei. And both men taking it to the outside now. Look, and I gotta love the intensity of Paul Robinson and he's he's playing the hair game you exactly know what, I mean? what he lacks in height against Pastor William Ever. he certainly makes up look at the physique of Paul Robinson chiseled aggression chiseled is right this guy is caught out a solid marble oh and slamming William Ever's head into the top turnbuckle oh and just flipping the bird showing us he's got some attitude to the crowd. and it looks like look at him even Paul Robinson is wearing a pair of jeans here. It's like he's come out. It looks like he's, he's confident enough that he's going to do a job here and put away William Ever and pick up the Progress Heavyweight Championship. He looks like it's, he's a typical Essex boy, straight out into the jeans shirt on. And again, just to highlight the, the coup that this is for CCW, this is Pastor William Ever's first defense of the Progress heavyweight championship oh and look at the forearms there on Irish soil he's defending it as well exactly not only Irish soil he's cork soil oh and look at the athleticism of Paul Robinson oh and with a big shoulder tackle there by William Eber Pastor getting motivated here driving himself on too fast to even keep oh Pastor William Eber gave me a telling off early for not washing my hands after the bathroom well, it is a very unholy thing to do. It certainly is. Cleanliness is next to godliness. Just ask the pastor, William Eber. Paul Robinson in a spot of bother here. Being thrown out to the top. Sorry, to this middle rope. To the outside. I say. Bust, it looks like he did some damage to his back on the way out now, as well. The, the relentlessness forearm. of Pastor William Eber. Straight forearm. Again, ladies and gentlemen, bodies building up here in the Kino, so very difficult for us to see what's going on, but Pastor William Eber getting the upper hand here against Paul Robinson. Right out into the crowd, not a, not a safe place to be in a CCW riot show. Not at all. Especially it, not Project Mayhem. Oh, and a crowd member, William Eber urging on one of the ladies in the crowd to chop to chop Paul Robinson right across the chest and Reaver has him up here and he's going for a drops him on the barricade the mind control the pastor William Eber has over his female dis disciples it's absolutely something to behold you don't need mind control when you've got the verbalism and physique of a god he certainly does look at that long hair he certainly is a Christ like figure and Paul Robinson is in a lot of bother. Fair enough, this guy ended Jimmy Havoc's career. Look at the He's leading in with the blessed trinity, those three huge European uppercuts. Oh, but already called short by Paul Robinson again with a brawling style. Well, look at the speed that, that uh, William Eber was hurling Paul Robinson into the corner with. You can see the size difference. Oh, you can see it. But I don't think it really matters in this match at the moment with the intensity of a competitor like Paul Robinson here from Progress Wrestling. And again, Pastor William Eber, for the first time defending his Progress Wrestling Heavyweight Championship against Jesus. Look at those big strikes from Paul Robinson. William Eber does not know where he is. The good pastor the is lost of Paul Robinson the intensity referee Dean trying his hardest to separate the two again Paul Robinson letting the crowd get the better of him here and distract him well he should be focusing on the pastor getting a pin down and winning look at him again look at his physique oh and a big what? shot and a returned with interest and stomping on the face of the pastor William Eber there's no doubt about it that Paul Robinson is the definition of a hard man Oh, no doubt about it. And no one will question you in that. The height difference doesn't make a damn of a difference to Paul Robinson. Again, He's not intense. Yeah, not when you have the intensity of a competitor, like a former regression member like Paul Robinson. And I mean, this man is from Essex. He's grown up tough. He's grown up fighting. He doesn't really care for people like William Lever. He doesn't give a damn who he's in the ring with. He just loves to fight. 
the crowd here getting confused. I think the pastor William Eber is Jesus himself. But he's not I, convincing. I don't think... May, Oh, I think I think Paul Robinson just announced his faith. He ain't over here to make any friends, that's for sure. He said it in his video package. Big he Irish knew. whip into the into oh. the ropes, followed up by a big clothesline by Big Paul Robinson on Pastor William Ever. But he said it himself in his video package before the match. He knows what kind of fight the Irish bring, and he knew what kind of fight. Look at him standing William on Eber the hair of Pastor William Ever. Would bring and. As a matter of fact, like he doesn't care who's in there with him. The Progress heavyweight champ. And look at him hooking the nostrils now. Yeah, with bow time, a referee, Dean, stepped in there and stopped that in its tracks. And what a brave man he is. I wouldn't, I certainly wouldn't uh, come up against Paul Robinson like that. If he wants to if he wants to hook nostrils, eyeballs, pull armpit hair, I don't care, let him at it. He's well, yeah, man. we're not going to argue with him here. No, certainly not. He's a tough man. Nightmare takeover. And again, again spinning the foot there on the jaw of Pastor William Ever. He's hurt. You can see he is struggling to get his whereabouts there in the center of the ring. While at the same time, Paul Robinson is in top here and he is going up high. He's going up top. He's focused too much on the crowd. He needs to turn his attention back to William Ever. Exactly. That's the thing about the riot crowd that can be a big distraction. William Eber has enough time here, he's coming up to his knees. All the while Paul Robinson is too busy, worried about what the crowd thinks of him. And he's, in the meantime, look, he's let Pastor William Eber get back to his feet. He was reining in with the clubbing gloves straight across the back of Paul Robinson. And now we've got a progress title fight on our hands here, Kieran. He's going, he's already setting Paul Robinson up for a big super race. Oh my God! And the crowd is on their feet here! That is where why he took the belt off Marty Skrull that is why he is the progress heavyweight champion you can't write off Pastor William Ever. and William Ever now encouraging these chants it's motivating we got a fall here one two oh thought we had a defence already in the bag there Kieran. no not yet Paul Robinson as we said one of the toughest nuts to come out of Essex and that's a place with a lot of tough nuts coming out of it. Oh, yes. W William Eber here feeling the vibe of the crowd. He's getting motivated. Oh, and a club and blow to the face. He's getting pumped up by the power of Christ. But that's only with it, anger. The power of Christ compels him. Oh, and there are two men are exchanging shots right in the center of the squared circle. That's only going to anger Paul Robinson. You can see him coming back with harder shots. And William Eber now getting the best of Paul Robinson. You know, prices oh, for guessing who this crowd are behind anyway. He took out the leg. Oh, he's going for his. Oh, no. Oh, nicely work. Nicely coming. Oh, oh, right to the back of the head. Oh, and to the throat. An uppercut. Oh, the European uppercut again. And he is laid out. Paul Robinson is laid out. He teed up Paul Robinson oh. there for that huge European uppercut. But and still not enough instincts carrying Paul Robinson to get the shoulder up. And that's the size difference coming to play because, you know, he can launch a man that's slightly smaller than him into the air. And by the time Paul Robinson is in the air, he doesn't know where he is. And when he comes down, it's too late. And the crowd in Cork here chanting for... One of their well-renowned songs, Who's in the House? Jesus in the House. Oh, he's giving... Oh! He's giving Paul Robinson the last rights and he's searching for some divine intervention here. As oh, he goes into the corner. And in with a big uppercut. And he looks Irish like he's in the Holy Trinity, Trinity here. here. Pat, oh, and he's Pat going Pat for the third spot. Moment oh. to pray. Oh, nicely. Quick as a cat. Straight out of the ring, Paul Robinson. He's gone up to the straight top. Top turnbuckle. See the oh my height. god, I thought we had a new champ. I thought he was going to knock the lights out of the ceiling. Taken to the air. Like something we've never seen before. That was. I've never seen that kind of air and hang time in the CCW ring. Again, this guy, Paul Robinson, is full of surprises. 
But again, Kieran, I gotta say, he's not. Uh, well, I stand corrected. He wasn't focusing enough on Pastor he William Ever. Challenging Eber. referee Dean's decision here, but it's not going to do any favours. When has the referee ever changed his mind about you know about a three count over aggression? Oh, he's taking the leaf out of Marion Armstrong's book there, where the women should not peace or should be seen but not heard. Oh, he's going quick roll up. One. Oh. oh, just a one count there. Again, oh, yeah. it's hard one. Again with oh. the European uppercuts. Beautiful from Pastor he's William Eber. There we go, he's locked in the Blessed Trinity. Oh, oh. nice backbreaker. Oh, he's got him up again. Countering into what beautifully. What is he going for here? Oh. Oh, beautiful oh. slam. Oh. oh, and we thought that was it. We thought that was going to be the end of Paul Robinson right there. Near fall. That is unbelievable. Pastor trying to get the crowd going behind him. Is it going to be enough? Trying to get the congregation, as he calls them, behind him. And indeed... Paul Robinson looks like he's been taken to another world here. Oh, he's got him. He's going up for something. What is he? Is he going for the last supper? Is he going for the last supper? Not locked in. Paul Robinson's countered. And oh, oh, Dean was he? distracted. Where was referee Dean when this was happening? He needs to learn to pay it's, more attention. It was a slight distraction. Oh, the curb stomp there by Paul Robinson. That's got to be it. We've got to get a new champ here, I'd say. But... He's going for the pins. No, he's got it. Oh, the ref has seen it. I take back what I said about referee Dean. Very vigilant. The ref beautifully spotted it. Paul Robinson was using the ropes there to get the pin down to Pastor William Ever. The crowd getting behind William Ever here. They're well behind him, Kieran. He's up again. Is he going for another one? Oh, he stopped the straight in the and laid down a big forearm across the point. Oh, he's caught him. Oh, oh, what is oh no, he's going for it. The last, oh, the last supper. supper. The last supper. Didn't get the job done, came very close, using every tactic in his arsenal, but didn't manage to get the job done against the pastor, William Ebert, the heavyweight champion of Progress Wrestling. And the crowd is going absolutely insane for William Ebert. They are on their feet. They have found their new messiah in one of the best wrestlers that British and indeed Irish wrestling has to offer today. World wrestling has to offer today. Come on, let's be realistic here, Kieran. This guy is an absolute phenomenon. He is a second coming. I mean, the Lord himself had only 12 followers. By the looks of it, William Eber has got everybody in attendance following him. I can't argue with that, Kieran. What, an, what a fantastic defense of his progress, heavyweight championship defense. The salvation of pro wrestling William Eber. Taking his title as he has defended it for the first time. His first, his first title defense was on Irish and Cork soil. What a defense that was. And I mean, against competition of the caliber like Paul Robinson from Progress Wrestling. I mean, you can't fault this guy. If he's taking the belt off Marky Skrull last month at Chapter 32, and he still held on to it, defending it against a competitor of the caliber of Paul Robinson, you've got to say, Pastor William Weaver is a, de a deserving Progress heavyweight champion.
You talk about your Sams, you talk about John 316. Come on. Eber 316 says, I just beat you down. I love you, 